Nadome village along the Turkana East Pokot border was turned into a battle zone after armed raiders descended on its inhabitants. The latest in a series of protracted armed conflict between members of the two neighboring communities left in its wake death and destruction with at least 46 people said to have been killed during the melee. A contingent of Kenya Defense Forces and Kenya Police have since launched a manhunt for the raiders who are said to have escaped towards Lomelo and Katilu in Turkana South constituency with an unknown number of livestock. The police operation is said to have delayed owing to inaccessibility of the region because of its rough terrain. The conflict has elicited varied reactions from members of the affected communities. We are now appealing to the Kenya government, especially the president and the IG, to intervene because now the situation is getting out of hand. Barago is no longer talking about ketorasoling. He's talking about eviction of the Turkana community in Baragoy. What is the national government doing to ensure that the Turkana people can be able to enjoy their birthrights in Samburu County? We are appealing to the government of Kenya as the people endowed by virtue of being born in Samburu County that we should be able to be protected and we should be able to be given what's right for ours. And what we are asking for is peace and justice in Samburu County. The attack on Monday evening came hours after residents staged the protest in Mariga town of Baringo South, complaining of the runaway insecurity in the area. The irate residents demanded that the government finds a lasting solution to the recurrent insecurity problem resulting from cattle rustling which had paralyzed development in affected parts of Baringo County for the last one decade. It was the same script, different cast in Isiolo County, where hundreds of students stormed the county commissioner's office to protest increased cases of insecurity in the region. Conflict, Wakati Inapo and Elea, we are asking ourselves, where are the Turkana professionals? The pupils who were supposed to start their second term curriculum program yesterday instead opted to travel for 10 kilometers to the county commissioner's office to voice their concerns over Atan and Aramiet areas of Isiolo. Deputy County Commissioner Isiolo North Subcounty Julius Maio assured the pupils that security in the area had been beefed up. At least, what an apathetic dog we have to put on the chakula. Over 183 people have been killed in Baringo County in the last six months in conflicts pitting members of the two communities. Reporting for Channel One News Hour, I'm Ron Cliff, OD.